ओके माय डियर्स मूव टू द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज क्लचेस एंड दैट इज अ वेरी बेसिक एंड इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम द क्लचेस एंड दिस कवर होल बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द क्लच एंड यू रिक्वायर्ड द बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन बिहाइंड द क्लच सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नोट डाउन दिस एंड अटैम्प्ट द क्वेश्चन इट इज अ वेरी गुड प्रॉब्लम होल कॉन्सेप्चुअल प्रॉब्लम सो टेक योर टाइम मिनिमम फाइव मिनट्स यू रिक्वायर्ड मिनिमम फाइव टू सिक्स मिनट्स फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन so note down attempt pause the video and let me proceed for the solution okay you can pause you can solve then check your answers okay my dear so that let me highlight the important term that we required design a single plate clutch automobile to transmit maximum torque of 250 newton meter डिजाइन मीन्स यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट आर आई आर नॉट ओके इनर रेडियो सब लाइनिंग आउटर रेडियो सब लाइनिंग ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट आर आई एंड आर नॉट डिजाइन मीन्स फाइंड आउट द डायमेंशन ऑफ क्लच प्लेट्स ओके स्पीड इट इज गिवेन दैट इज थ्री हंड्रेड आर पी एम द आउटसाइड डायमीटर ऑफ द क्लच दैट इज गिवेन दैट आर नॉट इज गिवेन सो फाइंड फॉर आर आई बेसिकली and the clutch engaged at 55 km per hour okay so that is the engagement begin speed okay 55 km per hour so that is the speed when clutch is engaged that is the basically driver speed when clutch is engaged okay so that is speed is given so that speed is given for basically your bike not for driver sorry that is for speed for bike or vehicle okay at that time you engage the clutch okay 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 my dear so that is 55 km per hour that is the speed of vehicle not for driver okay then find out the number of revolution of the clutch before slip or during slip time okay so in slip time how many number of revolution that clutch will take okay okay and heat to be dissipated by the clutch in each engagement okay so definitely there will be a heat generation so we also find out for this heat and that following additional data all are given so the following additional data are available engine torque engine torque is given during engagement okay mass of automobile is given diameter of automobile wheels are given moment of inertia of combined engine and rotating part and flywheel that means engine moment of inertia is given and gear reduction ratio is given 5 and torque at rear wheels available for acceleration wheels available torque is given okay coefficient of friction that is 0.3 and permissible pressure that is 0.13 okay my dear so let me solve completely and using these all data so first of all i will highlight all the data which i used from this problem first of all that frictional torque transmit by clutch so that you can use new clutch or you can assume old clutch but we we know that whenever it is not mentioned we always assume old clutch so that formula is mu pi p permissible ri r not square minus ri square first of all design the clutch basically so that is given 250 maximum torque that transmitted by the clutch that is given 250 that data i am using and that is the outer diameter and that is permissible pressure and that is mu so by using all three datas you can find out the ri value okay so that mu is 0.3 pi 
pressure it is given and that is 0.13 Ri you have to find out R naught that is given and that uh, outer diameter is given 250. So, radius is 125. So, now you can find out the value of Ri that is quadratic equation you can find out I have an answer and that answer 70 mm. Okay. So, you can solve check for calculation I am not interested in calculations. Okay. So, that is Ri you can easily find out. Okay. You can also find out the W load that required by a spring and that is 2 pi R i R naught minus R i into P permissible. So, now you can find out this force also and the value of this force you can find out 36755. Newton. Okay. So, that is all about the design of clutch, but I am interested in two second part of this question and that is very important. So, that is uh, related to design, but that other part is very important, that is very important. How to solve for number of revolutions of the clutch slip during engagement, okay, my dear. So, how we solve for number of clutch during engagement, let me discuss about the clutch. So, let me discuss this is driver, this is the gearbox, that is gearbox input shaft, that is vehicle, okay. vehicle or you can say wheel okay. and this gearbox having gear ratio is that is equal to 5. Okay, my dear and this clutch, this clutch having torque for clutch that torque is given that is 250 Newton meter. Okay. But driver engine having a torque also T engine and that torque it is given engine having torque of 100 Newton meter at the time of engagement and that is the clutch tor torque at the time of engagement and vehicle, vehicle speed is given at the time of engagement. So, engine speed driver speed we can find out let the speed of driver is omega 1 and that is 2 pi n 1 by 60 and you can find out that driver speed that is 3000 by 60. So, here you can find out the driver speed at the time of engagement and that speed is 315 radian per second. Okay. And what is the speed of this given? that omega vehicle is given, omega vehicle is given basically V vehicle or V wheel divided by R wheel. So, that you can easily find out. So, omega wheel that you can find out that that is given 55 meter per second uh, kilometer per hour. So, that is meter per second and radius of wheel it is given and that radius of wheel is given point 0.35 diameter is given 0.7 that is point 0.35. So, here you can find out the omega wheel and that omega wheel you can find out and that value is equal to 43.65 you can calculate so what is the speed for gearbox input shaft that omega 2 
that is 5 times of this. So, that is 218.25 radian per second. Okay, so now this is the situation actually when clutch is engaged, when clutch is engaged, there is a torque of 100 Newton meter in the engine. Clutch can transmit 250 Newton meter torque and gearbox input shaft having a speed this one that is the gearbox input shaft speed because wheel speed is given actually. So, by using gear ratio we can calculate the speed here also ok my dear and we all know that by torque equation we can apply here. So, what is the torque for engine actually if I calculate it for engine. So, the net torque on the engine is that is responsible for deceleration that torque is responsible for deceleration in the engine and the remaining torque is responsible for acceleration in the engine. So, that is why basically this engine is decelerate with this torque and this engine will accelerate with this torque. So, the net feeling of engine is deceleration and that is 150 Newton meter. So, my dear that is 150 Newton meter is the net torque on the engine. So, now we can solve for engine basically ok. So, that is that is the engine torque that is the clutch torque. So, net torque on driver shaft. So, now we can solve for driver ok. So, you all noted these all data I think in these data you have no problem. Okay, my dear. So, now let us solve for driver. Driver T net driver is I alpha for driver. Okay. So, T net driver for that is minus 250, sorry, minus we already give here minus. So, that is 250 minus 100. This minus sign is responsible for deceleration in the driver. So, here that is 150. So, that alpha 1 is alpha 1 is minus 150 upon I 1. Now, you can integrate with respect to time because this 150 I that is all constant and for driver you will find out that d theta 1 by d t is 150 I 1 t plus c and when time is 0 that speed is that speed is 3000 rpm or you can say omega 1. So, now you find the equation for generalized speed of the driver 150 that i that is given 1 time and that c is 315 equation 1 note down that calculation for driver. I think you have no doubt in this that is very simple engine torque will responsible for acceleration and clutch torque is responsible for deceleration that is why that is the equation for driver. So, there is net torque of 250 responsible for deceleration that minus sign is responsible for deceleration in the driver. So, you can note down this all. Now, I can solve for driven. Okay. So, pause the video and note down this. Now, I am solving for driven. Okay. 
So, what is for driven? Now, I can solve. So, for driven that is driven. So, for driven I do not know the net torque, but anyhow that net torque is responsible to I 2 alpha 2. Okay, so, that not to net torque I do not know, but you can say that something something the torque in that driven I do not know the value, but we can integrate that all and we can find out the value of d square theta 2 divided by d t square and that is t net driven divided by i 2 and now you can integrate and similar equation you will get d theta 2 you can integrate easily that is all derived in the class that is plus t net driven divided by i 2 into t plus omega 2 that is equation 2 that you got integration constant put time is equal to 0 and that is equated to omega 2. So, that you all get okay. can you feel that d theta 2 by d t and that is you can write down alpha 2 t. So, from anywhere if we find out the acceleration because generally there is acceleration takes place for the driven shaft or gear box input shaft when clutch is engaged. So, now if we find out this value of alpha 2 so our problem will be solved. So, how to find out this alpha 2? So, now solve for alpha 2 there is some more data given that let me show you some additional data that is given in the problem and that data is this one read this data carefully torque at rear wheel responsible for acceleration it means there is some torque in rear wheel that responsible for acceleration and that is 150 175 newton meter so some data given for wheels so let me solve for wheels again so torque for wheels given that is 175 newton meter responsible for acceleration it means it means force on wheel for acceleration is torque divided by wheel radius so how much force on the wheel and that wheel radius it is given that is 0.35 that is the force responsible for acceleration and if this force is responsible for acceleration we can use the equation f is equal to m a net force that is and that mass it is I think given acceleration you can find out. So, now the acceleration on the wheel that is 175 divided by 0.35 divided by mass and that mass is given 1500. So, that is the acceleration on wheel. So, now we can find out angular acceleration for wheel and that is alpha v. So, that is a by r wheel. So, now we can find out the acceleration that is 175.35 1500 again 0.35. So, here you can find out the angular acceleration of the wheel. I have a value and when you solve for this, we will find out this acceleration for wheel is 
radian per second square. So, that is the angular acceleration for wheel and if the angular acceleration for wheel is this. So, what is before the gearbox that is 5 times of this. So, now we can find out the angular acceleration for gearbox input shaft that we known as alpha 2 that is 5 times of this that is 5 times of this and when you solve that is 4.76. radian per second. Note down please. So, with the help of wheel, we can find out the angle acceleration on the gearbox input shaft or you can say driven shaft. Okay, so, now this alpha t is known. So, we can put this value of alpha 2 here, omega 2 we already know. That is the value of omega 2 that we find out before these all calculations. So, from here you can find out the slip time required. So, now d theta 1 by d t and d theta 2 by d t these two equations are complete that is 150 into t plus 315 equation 1 and that is alpha 2 t plus omega 2. Alpha 2 we got 4.76 t omega 2 that we already find out 218.25 that is equation 2 equation 1 and we know that after engagement completion these two speeds become same. So, now we can equate these two and you can find out the time. So, that is 150 t plus 315 that is 4.76 t plus 218.25. Please check the calculations, I am not interested in the calculations. So, when you solve for that time, that slip time is 0.62 second, 0.62 second ok <clears throat> and he is asking for number of revolution for slip. So, in what is happening in the slip driver is rotating some theta driven is rotating some theta and but the number of revolution with slip is theta 1 minus theta 2. So, first of all angular displacement of driver that is angular displacement of driver is slip time into omega mean driver because there is a acceleration or deceleration in the driver and driven in driver that is deceleration driven that is acceleration. So, we go for mean speed into time and that we find out theta 1 and once again angular displacement of driven angular displacement of driven that is t into omega mean driven driven means gearbox input shaft ok. So, here we can find out the theta, but the answer will be theta 1 minus theta 2. So, what is time that is we find out 6 to omega mean we can find out easily because the initial speed is 315 and final speed is both speed are same. For so final speed is we know that rated, rated speed. So, rated speed is minus 150 t is 0.62 you can find out that rated speed by using this also because both are same 
एट पॉइंट सिक्स टू टाइम पॉइंट सिक्स टू प्लस थ्री वन फाइव सो यू कैन फाइंड आउट द मीन रेटेड स्पीड और यू कैन से फाइनल स्पीड ऑफ बोथ एंड दैट इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी इंटू पॉइंट सिक्स टू दैट इज पॉइंट टू 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 सॉरी टू 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 रेड इन पर सेकेंड सो यू कैन चेक ओके सो नाउ द मीन स्पीड ऑफ ड्राइवर इनिशियल स्पीड इज थ्री वन फाइव फाइनल स्पीड इज टू 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 बाई टू and that is slip time so here you can find out the theta 1 and the final speed of this also is 222 initial speed of driven is 218.25 so here you can find out theta 1 and theta 2 both so that is the simple calculations so that is 166.47 radian please check the calculation and here you can find out this also 67847 okay and you can check for this also so that is 136.47 by 2 is there so now the slip slip is rotation in slip is theta 1 minus theta 2 theta 1 minus theta 2 so that is 166 min 0.47 minus 136.47 so here you can find out the angle and he is asking for i think number of revolution so that number of revolution is rotation in slip in one rotation that is 2 pi so divided by 2 pi so that is the final answer so you can solve for this so that is 4.7 revolutions so that is the final answers you can note down this and he asking for energy loss also so that frictional torque of clutch into slip theta so that frictional torque for clutch is 250 and slip theta is not theta 1 That is theta one minus theta two, so that is two fifty, and theta one is so that is a very good question. So you can find out the energy loss also. So here you got the energy. सेवन फाइव डबल जीरो जो सो दैट इज द फाइनल आंसर